Zoom fatigue is a real thing. Why do video calls seem more exhausting than driving to an office, grabbing a notebook, and sitting in a conference room for an entire in-person meeting. Shouldn't it just be much easier to just sit here like this? In your PJs? Believe it or not, no. Being on a video call actually takes more energy and focus than a face-to-face -face conversation. And get this, Zoom has gone from having just 10 million daily participants to more than 300 million, all in less than a year. Its stock price has surged more than 470% this year. But it's ultimately giving rise to a term called Zoom fatigue, which describes the tiredness, anxiety, or worry that results from overusing virtual platforms. Platform. So why is that? Experts agree that between 70 and 90% of all communication is actually nonverbal. That's the body language, our face, our eyes, the way we're sitting or standing. So if you cut out more than 70% of the communication factor, that means we have to rely way more on verbal language, all to communicate with each other. And listening to people is tiring. So now we have to work harder to process the things we would normally rely on just by seeing the way someone is seated. Psychologists call this a sort of dissonance between our body and our mind. But there are more factors beyond that. For the first time ever, most people's work life and personal life have blended into one like never before. The same laptop you're compiling reports on might be the same laptop you're watching Netflix on and then getting Slack notifications on too. And even Zoom's growth is finally starting to slow down. In the second quarter of this year, its revenue grew 54%, which yeah, that's a lot but nothing compared to 370% a couple quarters before that. Zoom surged in popularity for obvious reasons. We need it for school, work, and group friend and family time. But now happy hours are returning in person and people are starting to go back to offices. And people just want to Zoom less because of this whole Zoom fatigue thing. Zoom CFO recently admitted that he's seeing challenges in the market because people are going on vacations and happy hours again. And its stock fell 17% after he said that. But get this, Zoom is going to roll out new features like group planning and document editing, but can it really compete with Google? People just want to use their laptop camera less, so maybe it is the only way that Zoom can continue to grow. Oh, and one more question. What is the cure for Zoom fatigue? Well, it might just be to Zoom less often. Some companies are even coming up with concepts like Zoomless Mondays, where all of its meetings on Mondays can only be calls instead of video conferences. Sounds Sounds to me like a good start, but is it a long-term solution? Let me know in the comments, do you suffer from Zoom fatigue? What can be done? While you're at it, check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and hit me up online at Upton.